Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on On One Mask 8 and I'm going to show you a before and after picture before we dive in. So this is my before image that I got. I don't like the sky, so my main goal is out of this tutorial to show you guys how to remove the sky from an image using the software. So this is my before image, this is my after. This is what I'm going to get after when I'm going to be done. So let's get to it. So I'm going to right click on my before image. I'm going to go open with Adobe Photoshop. So once it opens in Photoshop, I get this option of making layers. So on the bottom right, I have my background layer. I would want to make a copy of my background layer, holding, dragging it into the new layer, which is going to make me a copy of my background layer. Then I'd want to add that sky picture that I have into the image as well. Once I drop, drop it in there, I get my sky. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag it a little bit, making more, not messing up the image size of the image so once that's in there I'm gonna press enter or this button right here up top what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drag my background copy over the sky which is gonna go back down to my old sky now I'm gonna go into the software on one software I'm gonna go to file automate and I'm gonna go on mask 8 software once we're in here I get the three tools that I'll be using here the most is going to be the key brush, I call it the plus brush, the drop brush, I call it the minus brush, and then we got the redefine brush tool. Also I got hand tool and the zoom in tool that we're going to use in the process as well. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use my subtract brush tool, the drop brush tool drops all the colors that I don't want in the image that I select. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the left side of the image, I'm going to click and I'm just going to draw like a letter U over the sky trying to get as much color as I can into the drop color that I want to drop. So once I let it go it's going to load. So the sky is almost perfect, um, looks really great. Um, so next thing I'd want to zoom in on the image between the trees and the sky, I'd want to go down there and just clean it up make it look more realistic. Um, I could do that using the tool, uh, zooming in tool, or I get this another nice, really nice option that they got in here is the navigator, and you get the 150 and a 25 zoom. So it zooms in at 100, it zooms in at 50 and 25. I'm going to use the 50, and I get this option of this box rectangle that I have to move it around through the image. So next thing I'm going to use, I'm going to use the redefine brush tool. I'm going to click on that, and I get this blue looking brush. Next thing I'd want to do is I'd want to use a different color of layers and on one, on one mask does a great job with this. It gives me different kind of viewing of my layers. So I got my dark mask. It shows me where my sky is still there that I want to remove. And there's just a bunch of them. That, I mean, whatever works for you. I really like the mask grayscale. It uh, shows everything in black and white. So what I'm going to do is with the black and white, I'm just going to go down the tree area with the redefine brush tool. Once that's done, let it load through. It's going to clean out my edges and you can see a lot of nasty clouds and whatnot details. So I'm going to drop I'm going to grab my drop brush tool, the minus brush tool. So I'm going to go down. I know this is not a tree, so I'm just going to go down the and I'm just going to clean it up. Clean up all the dirt that's in between the trees that's going to be visible in the picture if I don't drop now um, so I'm cleaning it up press and go once I let it go it's gonna load through and it's just gonna it should clean up most of most of the stuff up that looks great I'm gonna continue going I'm gonna go into the navigator I'm gonna go to the other side of the image and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna grab the um, redefine brush tool I'm just gonna go through the um, layer of the trees hoping to clean it up a bit more once that goes through, I'm going to grab the drop brush tool and do same thing, exact thing that I did on the other side. I'm just going to clean up the sides. I'm going to clean up the sky that's just been left, hasn't been cleaned completely. So there, it did a pretty decent job. I get some sky right here still. It's a little bit tree. Um, it did a really great job of cleaning it up. So what I'm going to do now is zoom out to fit. Um, I would say it looks pretty great. I'm going to go back, change it to all layers to see my layers. 
Um, then I'm going to go hit apply on the bottom right. That's going to take me back into Photoshop with my mask already set and ready to go. So I get the option of my mask is set to go, it selected my sky. If I turn off my sky, it's going to go back to my original image. Here's my sky that I have. And that was my tutorial on how to change the sky in the image using the On One Mask software.